Okay, class, welcome to your second grammar lesson, which is all about using brackets. Uh, you'll see that I've made uh, a Google Slides for this piece of work, and your independent task is on the last page of the Google Slides. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at using brackets for parentheses. This is something that we have covered in class before and something that some of us are doing very regularly in our writing, but it's always good just to get practice doing things like this. So let's start by discussing what is parenthesis. If you are at home working with an adult or an old sibling, then you could, of course, stop now, pause the video and discuss what you think that means, parenthesis. OK, well, there's a definition. Uh, parenthesis is a word, phrase or sentence that is put in writing as extra information or an afterthought. If you took the parenthesis away, the passage would still be complete without it. So that parenthesis, sometimes we call it parenthetical information, but lots and lots of different ways of saying just some extra information. Just that extra little bit of information that you add in to give the reader some more information about what you're talking about, to add some detail, some description to your writing. Here then are going to be some examples of parenthesis. The first time it's just a word, the second time it's a phrase, and the third time it's a complete sentence, all of which are correct. So the narcissus, daffodil, it's a spring plant with yellow petals. Now, you'll notice the way that my voice changes as I read this. That's something that the writer puts in to help the reader be able to know how to pronounce the sentence and know where pauses are necessary or changes in emphasis. So I want you to read the next one out loud and see if you can get that emphasis correct. Okay, well, well done uh, at having a go at that. Um, there is no, of course, completely correct or wrong way to say it, but I would like to see it pronounced something like, my brother, the one who lives in Australia, is coming to the wedding. Try it again and pause the video for this third one. And again, thank you for having a go at that. And I would say, Manchester United won the league today. It was exciting. Now we know what brackets are used for, we need to know exactly how to use them and where to put them. So the only bit of information that you put the brackets around is the parenthesis itself. So it's that extra little bit where you stop, where you pause, and where you're adding the extra information. You need to check that your sentence still makes sense if you don't read the bit in the brackets. This is really, really important and something we are going to practice later. It is really important that if you pretended the bit of parenthesis wasn't there, that the sentence still makes sense on its own. So here are three examples of brackets being used. And I want you to have a pause of the video and discuss or have a think about which one you think is the correct use of the brackets. A, some people don't like the rain, especially in England, but I do. Some people don't like the rain, especially in England, but I do. Some people don't like the rain, especially in England, but I do. Have a pause of the video and have a think or discuss of which one of those is correct. Remember that the sentence still needs to make sense if you take the bracketed information out. So pause the video now. OK, welcome back. So in which sentence was it in the correct place? Well, well done if you identified that it was C. So let's have a look at A. Let's take the bracketed information out and then read the sentence. Some people, especially in England, but I do. Does that make sense on its own? Well, I'm hoping that you'd be able to identify that. No, it doesn't really make sense there on its own. Now let's have a look at B. Some people don't like the rain. Now that does make sense on its own, but the bit in brackets, especially in England, 
but I do, you can see that there's two pieces of parenthesis in there, especially in England is one bit of extra information and but I do is another piece of extra information. Another one that is wrong about B is the fact that the full stop at the end there is inside the brackets. Now we don't want to see that. What we want, if we do have bracketed information at the end of a sentence, which is absolutely fine, the full stop needs to go outside of the brackets. Because of those two mistakes, it is C, which is the correct answer. Some people don't like the rain, especially in England, but I do. Taking out that bit of bracketed information, we can see that the sentence still makes sense. Some people don't like the rain, but I do. You can see that that is a correct piece of information. Okay, sometimes though, this is one of the exceptions to this rule, a parenthesis might be a complete sentence, not just a word or a phrase. When this happens, the capital letter and full stop are put inside the brackets. Now, it's rare that we see this in writing, but we do need to be aware that we can use it. So, let's have a look. The passage of writing still needs to make sense if you take the parenthesis away. Today, we were on a trip to York, and then I had never been to York before. Now, you could include that information, that full sentence inside the brackets, or you could change it to be one full sentence with some parenthetical information. How you do that is up to you as a writer. Remember, as writers, we like variety and we like clarity. By that, I mean we like to change things up to keep our reader interested, and though we still like to be clear. Okay, in this little mini grammar lesson, we have looked at ways that brackets are used for parenthesis, but that's not the only way to use parenthesis. I wonder if you can pause the video now and discuss or have a think about other times or other pieces of punctuation you might use to include parenthesis. Okay, well, well done if you remembered that we can also include a subordinate clause or extra information using commas, just like in this example here. The newspaper, which is normally delivered at 9.30, did not come today. We can also use, and we have been working on this a little bit before Christmas, dashes. Dashes can be used just like brackets, but usually we'd find them in informal writing rather than formal writing. So be careful to use them at the correct time. Tonight I'm going out never turn down a night out to the cinema. And again, if we take out that bit of information that's surrounded by dashes, we can see that the sentence makes sense on its own. Tonight, I'm going out to the cinema. Okay, you'll go. Uh, what I would like you to do, just like in the example, is add in some parenthesis into these sentences. So, free in the example, John had recently broken his big toe. I've added in some extra information about John. I've said John, who was a great footballer, had recently broken his big toe. Now, there are multiple ways that this can be correct. So there's not just one right answer. In the question one, for example, the boys ate their lunch every day at the same time. You could add information about the boys. You could add extra information about their lunch. You could add in extra, men, time, uh, extra information about the days or about the time or anything. So it's up to you to decide what in that sentence you think needs a little bit more description and then add some information. I would be very grateful if you added it in in red so it would make it easier for me to see straight away. But of course, if you are on mobile and that's a bit too difficult, don't worry about that at all. So just the six questions to do there, adding parenthetical information into them. And don't forget that uh, you need to be able to, the sentence still needs to make sense, even if the parenthesis is outside. So over to you. Thank you very much.